And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Wizard 101. We're going to finish off as many quests as we can inside of the Cyclops lane area. I actually need to figure out how to get sand on here. That will probably be the last one I'll do for a quest in this area. If I can't figure out where to find this sand mound is, then I can always go back and do it later. Anyways, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe button. Let's get into playing some Wizard 101. General Achilles is back in town? Good. Then maybe he can do the job he promised to do and maintain order on Cyclops Lane. Though it may take a while with all the creatures roaming around there now. Good work all the same, wizard. Triton Avenue's been overrun by the undead. I don't have any guards left to try and deal with it either. You're not the first student to offer help. Two wizards named Griffinbane went in a little while ago, and there was another named Grimwater. But none of them have come out, and I've got no word. Can you help me try to find them? You say this was orchestrated by the former death professor? I thought he was dead. Well, all the other dead are back, so yeah, that makes sense. The whole city's a mess. The guard is completely overwhelmed. I hate to ask, but could you see if Private Quinn on Firecat Alley needs help? Welcome to Darkwood's Apparel Barrel, where... Ah, oh, it's you. Did Cyrus complain about his laundry? You want me to provide costumes for the then fair, huh? Well, I do enjoy making those old-timey clothes. Nice change of pace. But I heard about all the problems on Cyclops. Oh, you handled it. Well, look at you. Eh, sure then, I'll make them then costumes. Welcome, customers, to Do or DIY, where your home is your castle. Ah, the then fair is back on? Great! I'll start chopping the wood and forging the nails I'll need to build the merchant stands post haste. Buy something and then quickly depart my presence. The then fair? <laughs> that silly little harlequinade of infants and imbeciles dressed as cave. Alas, my prize rings have been stolen. 
The rings do fire, ice, wind, dirt, and the fifth one. The guards, such as they are, found the thieves in houses on the Unicorn Way, Tratton Avenue, Cyclops Lane, and the Dark Cave. If you wish prizes for the then fair, recover those rings and take them to the girl who sent you.
One second, just want to check something. Alrighty, so while I'm right here, I'm gonna look for dirt mounds. Hmm. Don't think I'm gonna find any, but hey, I'll go try. Um. I don't know if you gotta be a specific character or what. How many dirt mounts do I need? Looks like just one. I can just buy the dirt man. I think I'm gonna find it. Reason? Uh, well, there's just a lot of people collecting in this area right now. So I'll just probably come back and do this. Play as your pet. Found all the spell books? Oh, rock! Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, they're a bit on the dirty side. But that's nothing a tempest spell can't stop. You found all the spell book? Many thanks, my whiz. And uh, tell the undead to watch out, cause Captain Rossum is back. All right, 
right, let's see if there's anything else I can do here. Uh, skeleton armor, we need to go to the dark cave to do him. And I'll talk to this guy at some point, you're going corner away. Anything else to talk to over here? Don't think so. Ah, uh, they must have bought something by accident. Boy, they're starting. They're talking about a world called Okoki or something like that. I've never heard of it, so it must be a new world. Look at all the new mounts. Jesus. Back when Wizards 101 was just starting, they only had like this panther thing. They have black panther, and then they had normal panther. Didn't really have anything else. And these were like the top items that you had to have so everyone would be like, yeah, that's cool. Then they started coming up with more and more mounts. It's just like, eh. Greetings, my The Jewel Master bows with a great flourish of his cape. The arena is a wondrous place. Students come here to hone their skills with magic, practice against others, and get to try your hand against your classmates. Enter the arena and step into the dual circle. Time to go mess with my spell book. Hello there, my headmaster. Most excellent. This will take but a few minutes. Enter the door to the arena to begin. Great, my camera's all glitchy because we went through that one quest for uh, changing into our pet. Welcome, my friend, to the Dueling Arena. You wish to learn more of the art of dueling, no? Outstanding. Approach the puppet, and we shall begin your lesson. It's in the glitch. Let no, us okay. begin by explaining power points or magic. Every round, you, will, you can see the number of pips each. Nearly every card has a pip cost. It is the number in the upper left-hand corner, yes? You can only cast a spell if you have enough pips to do so. Let us start with one spell with a pip cost of two. Look at the game's trying to download all the information in this area. It's like... But you only have one pip, so you cannot cast this turn. You can also use a zero rank spell if you want to save up power pips. Good! You have passed and gained another pip. With two pips, you can now cast the troll spell. Ah, but look! You have drawn another card. Tough. This is an enchantment card. Enchantment cards can be used to improve the other cards in your hand. Let me show you. Click on the tough card, and now click on the troll. Look what has happened. The card has been enchanted to do more damage. Now it is a treasure card. Unused treasure cards go back into your deck at the end of the duel. Now since you have two pips, you can cast the troll at the puppet. Now you are back to one pip, yes? Let us give you another hand. With only one pip, you cannot cast any of these third rank spells. You will need to pass for two rounds. But wait, there's another way. I've given you a power pip, see? At the beginning of each round, you will have a chance to get a power pip, and power pips count double, but only for spells in your clock. Now you have one pip and one power pip. That means you can cast any second rank spell that you wish. Or you can use a third rank spell in your school of focus. See? The card for your school is now available to you. Cast it at the puppet now. Perfect. 
Outstanding! Now let it... A ward can be used to protect... This is a fire ward. The next incoming fire spell will trigger it. Let me show you. Cast this fire ward up... Very good! See how this fire ward hangs near your feet? Watch how it can protect you. It's a quest, right? Do you see? The fire ward has activated and helps you resist most of the damage from this attack. Let's try one more. Cast it on yourself and see what happens. Charms are the opposite of wards effect spells that other people cast on. Cast this frost beetle at the puppet. Let's see how the charm works. You see? Your ice beetle has triggered the ice charm. Now the ice beetle is more powerful. Now let us cover one more type of hanging effect. The aura spell. Aura spells affect the target over multiple rounds of combat. For example, the fire elf spell. Let's see how it works. Cast a fire elf at the puppet. Good! Now watch what happens next round. And again? Excellent! You have defeated him and I hope you have found our lesson to be most Hello there, dear. I see you've been training hard. Come see me when you can. I have a new spell I would like to teach you. So we'll go back to the comments a little bit. I'm gonna do this one. You know what? Let's just do this now. And then hmm. I'll go back to the comments of Yikes. They gotta fix that. It's the glitch that happens when you turn into your pet, I believe. Back in those days you couldn't turn into your pet, as far as I know. Last time I was here, I know the pet thing that they added was here. I don't know how much changed since then, though. It's changed a little bit. Why, hello there, my fine young friend. Have you by any chance participated in the dynamic display that is the Wizard City Pet Pavilion? It's a captivating cavalcade of prodigious proportions. Near this very spot are fine vendors of pets and pet props. The Pet Derby offers all manner of enticing entertainments and delightful distractions for wizard and pet alike. Intrigued by the fantastic world of pets, young wizard? A good pet has eyes and ears. I've buried metal rings in the common and the shopping district. Want to see if your pet can find them? This quest requires you to have a pet. And with a pet equipped, playing as your pet. You can play Fair as your friends. pet until its happiness runs out. Replenish happiness. Might I be of some service? The Wizard City Pet Pavilion has expert supply. Speak to all of them. You can start with my little green friend, Sir Nigel Higginbottom. Right. That was a mistake. Tell you more and set you upon the right path. Um... So we'll go to Tri Triton's Ab next, I think. Or actually, I'll probably go back to Cyclops Land and do this, the Dark Cove, and then do Triton Ab, because the reason I want to leave Triton's Ab last, because that's all storm stuff over there, so I'm just like, eh. Towers 
go to for that. Alright. Alright, we're going to Commons. Seven hundred health, that's not bad at all. Now I understand why they were saying that ice is tanky. Ice and storm. Mm. Well, I'm so glad you want to learn ice magic. To start, you will need a blessing from the giants. Fill this vial with the unnaturally pure water from the pond in the commons, and then take it to the ice tree outside. Fill the flask with pure water from the pond. I got that Christmas mount out. Uh, people will dump a crap ton of money into this game. So, you seek the blessing of the giants. Let me see this vial of water. You hold up the flask of pure water. Kelvin freezes. There. This is a flawless ice shard. As hard as a diamond and as cold as the north wind. Say these words as you hurl your offering from Elix Edge, the cliff in the shopping district. You shout the words of power. You toss the shard of ice over the edge into the open sky. You summon a master of frost. Who dares disturb my rest? Aha! A young wizard seeking the secrets of ice. I sense great power in you. Know ye this, we are the giants, kings of the sky. We accept your offering. You may call upon our servants, young Thaumater. Study our magic well. A great evil is rising, and you may need our magic to stop it.
Exceptional work, young wizard. You may now call upon the servants of ice for your magic. Here you deserve the ice trap spell. Come back later when you've learned enough to master more.
Excellent. I can rework the enchanted metal of that armor into something even... And a lining made from those coats will provide a superior... And done. Easy work when you have the right material. Tell him if he ruins this set, he needs to stop turning down all those promotions and take a desk job.
Hey, Rand said I should take a desk job. Oh, no, that ain't me. I'm a man of action, I am. And now, thanks to you, I'm dressed for the part. Thanks, wizard.
Halt! Oh, you're that Unicorn Way hero wizard, aren't you? What? Sergeant Muldoon sent you? Woo! I need all the help I can get! This street is ablaze, wizard, and not in the way it's always ablaze. It's been completely consumed by anger and hostility and violence. The fire elves have gone insane. A gaggle of them even broke down the gate to the dark cave. Now the undead have spilled out into the street. I can't hold all these roving mobs of mayhem at bay alone. Please, wizard, can you drive the haunted minions back? To this corner of the street, but we're not going back in the dark cave. It's spooky in there. The undead have promised not to venture any farther? It's not ideal. It all started when the Fire Elves were rehearsing the song Recollection from Fire Cats. The music, everything was going fine, pitchy soprano solo aside, when one of the Fire Elves suddenly shot a tiny arrow at me. Then another elf joined in. Then another. The animosity spread like wildfire. Now even the lawn decorations have risen up and gone all stabby. A wizard named Lizzo Firespitter was coaching the elves on singing before the trouble started. I saw them attack her. I wanted to help, but uh, I simply had to secure this position. Now I'm the only thing standing between all this chaos and Old Town. Please, will you check on Lizzo? place for a newbie like you? Wait! You're the new kid who cleaned up Unicorn Way, aren't you? <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here now. 
Some fire elves attacked me and stole my spell book. The truth hurts, but I'm literally powerless. Did you get my spell book back? You will? Thanks. Just try to be gentle, okay? The fire elves aren't evil. Someone, something, has corrupted them. Alrighty, this looks like a good place to stop. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.